In this video, we will see how to control flow navigation from our LWC. If your LWC is embedded in a screen flow, Salesforce provides an out of the box way to move forward to the next step by just dispatching an event from the LWC. Here we have a screen flow. So in this, there is a screen element so here we have added a lwc this lwc dispatch an event to move to the next step automatically after five seconds let's move to the lwc in this lwc we need to import a flow navigation next event this one and you can add your custom logic as needed and once it's done based your requirement you can dispatch an event to move to the next step of the flow so let's run the flow so it's a first screen element and as you see it automatically moved to the next step after five seconds so depending on your use case you can dispatch other navigation event also like a flow navigation back event flow navigation pause event flow navigation finish event from your lwc you just need to import and dispatch the relevant event based on your requirement that's all for this video please like comment and stay connected